Yo, oh, what's good? What's good, everybody? Lockout Men back. Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. Thank you, thank you. And I came across, we gonna, we, we ain't gonna mess around. We just gonna jump right into it, right? So this video comes from the Gear Grinding Hyena from TikTok. If you're not familiar with this TikToker, <laughs> Whew. but anyway she made a powerful heartwarming video on her channel which got me to thinking about some of the choices that truck drivers new truck drivers and maybe some veteran truck drivers make while they out here choosing companies to drive for all right so let's sit back relax listen to her testimony and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it Bo distribution center in van buren ohio i've hauled more times into here than i can count when i drove for jb hunt and whenever i go to customers that i've been to many times before which has been happening quite often with this new job you kind of reminisce on the older times that you came in here and you know it puts a lot of things into perspective i remember rolling into here knowing that i worked at a company that valued me as a human being and a driver and worked at a company that respected me that took good care of me that would do anything that they could to make sure that i'm happy and everything's going smoothly I worked at a company rolling in here that did not treat me like just a number or a seat warmer or replaceable. I worked at a company that truly treated me as a truck driver should be treated. And I got paid more to do it. <laughs> and my dumb ass thought the grass would be greener. My dumb ass said there's got to be more to this and I wasn't fulfilled with what I had. Sometimes you don't appreciate the things that you have till they're gone. And now I find myself sitting on this property that I've sat hundreds of times for the first time ever on this customer's property wishing so much I wasn't here just because I'm embarrassed about the choices that I've made. Seeing people that I used to see in a different type truck um, seeing me in this, knowing that I don't have the respect that I had at JB or the support or any of that. You know, sometimes the grass ain't green and you should be thankful for what you have and I've learned that very well. I had a great job and I worked with great people at a company that would have done anything for me. And up until the day that I left, they were always on my side, they were always in my corner, whatever I needed. They supported me in every decision I ever made at that company. And now here I am hauling the exact same freight, only this time. Don't make the mistakes that I've made. Be thankful for what you have. Cherish it while you have it. This past year has just been a series of bad choices and failings on my part to try to find a part of my life that's missing and I don't know what it is. And I thought it was something career-wise and really the career was the only stable thing. So that was uh, her testimony about uh, working at her current company. I do believe her current company is Variant. It is a part of U.S. Express. I know about U.S. Express and let me just say about variant, all right? Somewhere, somehow, some feasible, you know, they say that variant is a different type of trucking company. It, this is just my opinion. I really don't think it is. Variant is a sister company of U.S. Express. It uses U.S. Express terminals, U.S. Express shops, and they get paid by U.S. Express. The only difference about this company is that the dispatching, right? The dispatching. They get dispatched 
by a quote unquote computer. Okay. But that's here nor there. Let's just talk about uh, the points that she made in her video. Now, recruiters try their best to recruit you. That's what they do. They they give you the milk chocolate and the caramel on top of the, uh, of the company that they're trying to promote to you. They tell you that you can do this. They tell you you can do that. You will make this. You will make that. And we'll treat you like this. And we'll treat you like that. While you at your previous company is being treated some kind of way. You were still being treated like a driver. You was treated like a person. They treated you well. The money was good. But somehow, some way, something happened. You felt some kind of way about it. And then you get talked into working for a different company by that recruiter. The recruiter will be like, oh, well, that trucking company don't care about you. We do. We can make sure you get this. How much money you making? How much money you making over there? We can top that, this, that, and the third. They talk, they talk you into coming and, 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 and drive for them. Then you go, you fill out the application, you get approved, then you're working for said company you get talked into, only to realize. That is not all that's hyped up to be. Right? So you start to, you know, drive for the company more and more. You beginning to be the you beginning to feel like, hmm, hmm. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling comfortable. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling what it is. And then you like she said you start going to diff you start going to the same receivers and probably some of the same shippers well receivers <laughs> and shippers you start going to the same company that you went to in your previous company and you kind of think to yourself like hmm man maybe you know, may, maybe I was too harsh. Maybe I jumped too fast. Maybe I didn't think. Maybe I didn't process it. Maybe the company that I, that the previous company that I was driving for, I was comfortable. I had a little bit more freedom. I can do a little bit of this. I can do a little bit of that, that I can't do at the present company. You feel like, man, they wasn't giving me the miles. I wasn't getting paid and all like that. But then at the at the present company you're at, you're getting the miles, but still realizing that you was getting paid the same from the previous company where you was at. Maybe a little bit more, but you had a little bit more freedom at the previous company where you was at. Right? So as she said, the grass is not always greener, and I agree with her. The grass is, is really not that much greener on the other side of the track. Now, if you are at a company that, you know, that, that is treating you moderately well, try to give that company a little bit more, I don't know, leeway before you actually get talked into coming to another company. See if that previous company, like let's say the let's say the present company will offer you this, that, and the third. See if the previous company could either match it or come close to it. Because sometimes if that previous company is treating you well, they really don't, they they really don't want to see you they really don't want to see you leave. See if they can, you know, if you have any issues that you feel some kind of way about it, see if there's somebody there you can talk to. 
if you can't talk to the fleet manager, maybe there's somebody above the fleet manager that you could talk to and y'all could come to some type of common ground instead of just getting talked into another company where you where you might not feel comfortable with and you're stuck. Now, not to say that you're stuck, but you're stuck. <laughs> so don't you know for whatever reason don't let a don't don't let a recruiter talk you into you know talk you into it try to make sure that you feel right changing if the company that you that your present company or that your previous company was really treating you well and it was only a little situation it could be worked out it could be worked out all right. Now, some situations you really can't help, but but if that company has an open door policy, then use it. Use it. Now, I understand she's feeling some kind of way with her with, with her pre, uh, with her present company because of all the situations that she's been through. Make sure you go and check her out. She is, she has some strong opinions on her channel, but as of late, she's been opening up more and more and I'm beginning to feel her a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Especially with this video right here, considering that, you know, the choices that she made, it could have been better. So the choices that you guys make, follow, you know, you know, make sure you don't make that same choice because if you're good at the previous company if you're good and if it's only a small problem try to work that problem out try to work that problem out man because sometimes that 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 small problem can be worked out and you'll be and, and you'll be good you know you 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 work for a company that you're comfortable with they treat you well and you have a little bit more freedom I guess, you know, it won't be too strict or anything like that. You'll probably make some, you, you'll probably continue to make the good money, you know, only to get, you know, only not to get talked into working for another company and you just don't feel comfortable and you feel stuck. You feel like you're in a situation that you can't get out of. So don't let that happen to you. All right. All right. This is Lockout Men. The best conversation starts over here. If you want to jump on and holler at me, yo, hit me up. 216-600-2090. And we will connect and we will share the story right here on the Lockout Men podcast show. All right. Gear Grinding Hyena, the invitation is out to you. I hope you accept it because I would love to have you on the show. All right. I would love to have you on the show, man. We could chop it up and all like that. And, you know, you can share stories of every of, of any and everything because you have one story on your TikTok that's very interesting. And I would love to talk to you about it. All right. Lockout men, y'all. And I'm out. Talk to you next time. Peace.